channel everyone i hope you're doing so well today if you're new hello and welcome i really hope that you enjoy your first video now i recently got my first place about two months ago and at the time i was really really into like grays whites pinks i actually really struggled to find home tours with this sort of color scheme like it's not that common well i guess it is on pinterest and insta and that but here on youtube there was a lack of videos so ever since i got my place i thought right i need to do a video for everyone to show you what i've been buying and i've had a request well a request more like a hundred <laughs> Had a lot of requests asking on Insta and here if I will do that for you lot. So I thought, well, today's the day. I'm going to do it. Please don't think this is the end result because this property is not finished yet. It's a work in progress. There's a lot of things I want to improve and, you know, change. But I thought, I've had it for two months now. I'm going to show you what I've done so far in this short space of time. I really hope that you enjoy watching. If you like a detailed tour of like my kitchen, for example, all the cupboards and like all the cutlery and stuff I got. Sounds weird, but I've got some pretty stuff. So maybe you'd want to see it. But if you do, let me know. I'm happy to film that another day. Without waffling on too much, I'll get straight into the video. So you come up the stairs and this is what you see and I really really like this. I love the fact that it's grey and white. It's totally my sort of theme that I love. This is from B&M. It was like £5. And this is from the range. It was actually a Christmas decoration but I put it on the door with some sticky back hooks. Come on in. So when you first walk in, to the right hand side we have a cupboard which is very very boring and it's that typical dumping cupboard for all of my crap basically. So here it is and in here we just have some leftover flooring and we have my ring light, uh, clothes that I need to shoot for Instagram etc. So it's a really boring, messy cupboard. My future plans are to change this into a walk-in wardrobe and remove all this crap because it's very disgusting and it hurts my eyes at the moment. So let's get out of here because I don't like it. <laughs> I promise this video will get more exciting as we go on. I thought I'd get the boring stuff out of the way so that we can get onto the exciting things really, really soon. So in here, we just have my washer dryer and all my cleaning products. And again, this does need a bit of a clean. It's a mess currently. It's just one of them cupboards where it's left to last when I clean because it's obviously not on show. So we have loads of spare products here, like backups, etc. My washing basket, which is from Matalan, my washer dryer, and then just a load of cleaning things from B&M. But let's get out of here again real quick because it's not very nice in the eyes. So here's my hallway. Ahead of us we have the living room and kitchen. We have the bathroom and we have the bedroom. I'm going to show you the living room space first and then we're going to get into the other two rooms. This is my hallway. There's little units from Ikea and it was, I believe, £70. I really, really like it. It's the perfect size and I think it just adds a little bit of glam to the hallway. I also have this mirror which was from the range. It was £25. Again, really, really affordable for what you're getting. It's a really big, chunky, nice mirror. Up here from the range again, one of my favourite shops, we have a light which is grey and crystally and I just think it looks really pretty. Quite a large lampshade so it just adds a real sense of glam, if that makes sense, <laughs> to my little hallway. And that was £23. On the table we have a jar here from Home Bargains and it was £7 and I filled it up with little mini marshmallows. And then I have a vase here from Next um, last year though. And then I've got some fake flowers in here from Home Bargains. Funny story, I only paid like 39p for these because they looked a bit battered and me and my friend said, hmm, you know, is there anything you can do? And the manager just put them through really discounted. So we were happy we picked them up. But I don't like the stalks. They look very fake, but you can't really tell from afar. So it's not too bad. We have Boo Avenue Awards that I got last year. In the, well, this year actually. Hazel, come on. It's 2018 still. Here we just have my keys, nothing special. And then down here we have a planner, which is from Primark, and it was £2.50, and I love this, it's marble, and I can't wait to fill this with lots of ideas, because, you know, putting it on paper makes it more real. So, this is one of my favorite rooms. So let's enter, living room and diner and kitchen, which is all one open space. Whoops. <laughs> so I'll just give you a quick pan view, then we'll go into it in more detail. So here's the living space, dining room, kitchen. What are we gonna start with? Let's start with the kitchen. So the kitchen that I went for was a high gloss kitchen and hopefully no fingerprints are gonna show up on there. <laughs> I've put all the lights on just so you can see. It's got little spotlights up here. And so let's talk you through everything. So I've got some chopping boards here, which I'm not sure where they're from. They're just from family members. This is from Ikea and I filled it with biscuits just like the Kardashians do. This is from Matalan and it was three pounds. This is Tesco and it was a few pounds. It just adds a nice little glam feel to the room. 
We then have a plate here, which is from HomeSense. This was five pounds, and I love the way this looks. I just think it adds a little bit of a show home feel to the kitchen. This is also from Matalan, which was £13, and I did actually have some flowers here, which I've removed. I may put them back, I'm not too sure, but I keep changing things up in this kitchen. It's never really set, it always changes. These are from Ikea, and this is from The Range again. Amazon, and I just like to hang my tea towels on here. I think it's just a nice little way to store them and hang them. I've got these jars from Ikea actually and I use them for my coffee and sugar. They do need refilling but I just like the way they look and I think they're really cute. They're nice and little and I'm really clumsy and drop things so I like how they're just small. It's less likely that I'm going to drop them. <laughs> I then have my Breville toaster and kettle which I love. I really, really do love these. The print's really nice. or well, the print, you know, the texture to them is really, really nice. And then this is also from the range. So this area, I wanted to keep it quite minimalistic. I didn't want to have too much stuff going on. I just wanted the essentials with a few little cute bits and pieces like we have here, but nothing too over the top. I feel like my worktop is relatively clean, I think anyway. On the windowsill, I have a little jar here, which my friend Megan hates. <laughs> I have some fairy lights in here, so I turn them on at night time and it looks really pretty. I have a key which needs moving, clearly isn't meant to live there. A little plant here because I wanted some real life and, you know, something to keep me company when I'm by myself. I have an Ikea candle holder here and then I have a marble tea caddy. I don't know why I keep it on the windowsill, but I just like it there. This is from Next and I got it a few months ago, so it should still be in stock if you're interested. I have another one of these, and then I have some flowers from the range, again, and a little gin kit, which is so bloody cute. This was from Home Bargains. It was £3. Look at it. I can't wait to try these out and to make some cocktails, but in the meantime, I think it looks really cute. Just sat there in my kitchen. Love it. Here we have some mitt thingies, whatever they're called, <laughs> from Ikea. They were £3 each, I think. So let's step back again, and this is what my kitchen looks like. This definitely isn't finished. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. Perhaps have some pictures put up here. I'm really not too sure, and I may have a blind here as well, just because it needs some colour. I'm not sure, really. I really don't know what to do, but this is just the starting point and look at the lovely view that I have as well this is what happens when you live on a new build site you have building works everywhere for the next nine years apparently <laughs> so moving on to my favorite little space is my dining table because I love the way this looks so much I did actually recently do a styling video on how I put this together and what my tips and tricks for it so perhaps you can go ahead and watch that if you're interested the table is from Ikea the chairs are from HomeSense. All of this stuff here is basically Matalan Next and Tesco for the vase, the range for the flowers, B&M, the range again, Boo Avenue. So <laughs> there's some staple places that I shop always, but I love how this looks. I love the grey feel. I love the pearlescent details I've got here. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. Just think it looks really, really classy. It's really nicely put together, little space. If I don't say so myself. I mean, I know I'm boasting about my interior designing skills, but mm. new career perhaps. <laughs> these are from Matalan and I love these so much. They're so cute. Look at them. They're adorable. And sometimes I just leave the chair out like that. I like to have the cushions on show as well. Now here's my little bin from Ikea. It's very, very small and it's not very practical if I'm honest. I probably need a bigger bin, but I just, it was the only one I could find which was cute for a bin. <laughs> little and, you know, not too bulky and in the way, but I do need to get another one. I've admitted defeat. I've admitted to myself that this is not good enough because it gets filled up literally within half a day. So I need to do something about that, but it is yet to be confirmed what I am to do. <laughs> So here is my living space. Let's give you a little pan view from afar. And this is quite bare again. I've only had this place for about two months. So clearly it's not completely finished yet, but I needed to get this video up for you because if I didn't, I know some of you were gonna hate me because you keep asking me to do it. So I thought I'm just gonna get it out there and done and I can do an updated video in the future. So here I want to have either a big mirror or three mirrors or three prints. I'm not sure, but it's very plain at the moment. So I'm well aware that this needs something going on to jazz it up a little bit and to add more life. I'm thinking three chrome frames with some prints in would look really nice because chrome is definitely a colour 
a colour and metal that I wanted to run through my place. Anyway, so this sofa is from DFS and it was £1,100. Um, here are my cushions from Matalan, £12 each, Primark £3, B&M £3. This little table is from Ikea for £6. It's the lac table, I believe. It's so bloody cheap. I couldn't believe it was £6. That's mental. This is from B&M and it was £40. And I love this rug. Although, I kind of wish I got a pale pink rug now. Because everything is so white and grey. And I, have wish, I just wish that I had another pop of pink. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this. I may put it in my bedroom. Or move it somewhere else. And get another rug in here eventually. Obviously, it's not needed yet. But I think that's my plans for the future. These are from the range again, and I just have a little Harrods magazine here because I thought it adds a little bit of fashion glam to the room. These are from Tesco's. Here we have a little basket from Home Sense, and I just have a little fluffy cushion in there and my favourite rug, which I use all the time because it's getting a bit chilly these days. Here we have a miscellaneous item. <laughs> we have a lampshade I bought, and I then realised it had a black cable, so now I'm like, hmm, am I going to use it or not? So it's kind of living there for now. I may donate it to my parents, I'm not really too sure what I'm doing about that just yet. <laughs> Here are my curtains, and they're from B&M, and they were £30. B&M are really, really affordable for curtains, so I definitely recommend it. And look at this again, mess, 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 I hate the view, but because it's a new build site and we were like first to move, I keep saying we. I was first to get this place, one of many anyway, so one of many, one of few I mean, so unfortunately I have to put up with this, this, which isn't great, but oh well. My lampshades are from, you guess it, The Range, I love these, they're so pretty, they're cream and I just really like them, I've got two of these, love them. And then here I have a plant, it's called a cheese plant, and these were so popular when my mum was little apparently, and I said to her, look, I really want a plant. And then my dad was like, do you remember them plants mama would? My mum was like, yeah, I do actually. So they went and got me one, so I love this. It's really annoying though, because it's like grown towards the light. So I kind of need to do something about that. I may get a big plant pot for this, like a big pink plant pot, I think that would look really pretty. We then have my TV, and yes, that is me on the screen. <laughs> this is really high up. I'm not a fan of how high up this TV is. It wasn't really my intention when I had it fitted, so um, don't really know what to do about that. Beneath the TV, perhaps I could get a little stand or something here. I'm not too sure what yet. Maybe a little skinny console table and then some flowers. I don't even know at the stage, but I'm well aware that this wall is just too bare much like the wall behind us it is just bare so something needs to change but i'm not too sure what at this stage so it's very much work in progress the flooring is from a company called uk flooring direct and i love it love the color it was perfect for me i really liked it and i just had this put throughout the entire place oh i almost forgot this area here so this little blanket is from primark four pounds this is from the range 13 pounds a little mirror plate Matalan basket with just some candles in and this is from Next and it's a fake orchid plant but it looks bloody real to me. I actually think it looks so real. So I love that. Let's go into the bedroom. So it's just a one bed place so don't get too carried away and excited. So I need two more rooms to show you. So this is my bedroom and I love my bedroom because it's a really large room as you can see. And the main thing I love um, the most about this is the beautiful massive window. I've got a huge bay window, it's pretty much floor to ceiling, like come on, it pretty much is. I just love it, it lets so much light in the room and it just looks really glamorous I think. It just looks classy and it just makes the apartment feel really luxurious. So. Here's what my bedroom looks like quickly, and then I'll talk you through everything. <clears throat> so, to the right-hand side, I have mirrored wardrobes, and these came with the property. They're already built in. I did upgrade to get a mirror, because who doesn't like looking at themselves 24-7? I mean, if you're a fashion blogger, you certainly do. <laughs> Here we have my little dressing space, and... Here, this is a little puffy that I got from the range. The seat is from Ikea, although I don't like it. I want to change it. I feel like it just looks like a school seat with the metal legs. So I want to get a really fancy velvet seat at some point, probably from HomeSense because they're my faves. The little rug is from Primark, £9. This is a little sheepskin, fake sheepskin, my ad, little rug, which I've just chucked over the back. And then I just have a cushion here. I actually got this in my living room, and then I switched it up when I got the pink cushions. So again, this doesn't really live here, but it's just temporary, like, until I decide what I'm doing with it. 
my dining, my dining, <laughs> my dressing table's from Ikea, and it was 100, no, it was 80 pounds, it's the mom dressing table. This beautiful tray is from Home Sense, and I have all my perfumes on there. That is my MacBook. Here's a little tray, and I just have some crystals. Crystals are meant to have really good, like, healing property, energy, etc. You can read into it if you want. Um, my mum got me these, so I just like them. They look pretty, they look nice when the light hits them, and hopefully they bring me positive vibes. So my plans for this probably is to get a really big mirror here or three prints. Again, I really don't know. I may also get a shelving unit here. There's one in Ikea that I love. So I may get that here and then put some fancy bits down it. But I don't know. What do you think? It's a bit plain at the moment though. I'm laying on my bed as I'm showing this to you lot. This is my big mirror from Ikea. It was £80 and I love this. Perfect selfie mirror. I don't really use it to get ready or anything like that. It's just for selfies because... It's full length and it's perfect. So I have a little orchid, well an orchid, a little, a orchid plant here. And then I have big curtains, which are really difficult to find actually because they're so long and big. But these were from Amazon and I just typed in, oh I don't know what I typed in to be honest, sorry. Here I have a little rug from B&M for £10, really love this. My little handbags down there. My bedside tables are from Ikea, and I switched up the handles and put some lovely crystal ones here, which I love. So I've got obviously two of them matching, because it has to match. These are from Dunelm, £40 each, I believe. I love them. They're a lovely pale pink, and I love the crystal and mirror base. I think that's so sweet. I then have little mirrors here, which were £5 each from Wilco, and I'm not a massive fan of these. I think I want to change them up eventually because they are a little bit small, but for £5 each, I thought at least it gives me the mirror feel that I wanted. I can always get more glam mirrors in the future, but, you know, a girl only has so much money, I couldn't spend everything at once. <laughs> so, here's my bed. I'm not going to say where it's from because I don't recommend the company, if I'm honest. So here's my bedspread, and I just typed in runched bedspread from eBay. And then these are from, oh my god, look. Here is OCD coming into play. That needs to be that way around. The stripes are the same. These are from B&M. B&M, Matalan. <laughs> Basically B&M, Matalan, the range are like my go-tos. Like they're the places I always shop. Here I have a little speaker. It doesn't look amazing, but you know, I need a speaker because I need music when I get ready. I can't get ready without music. And that is basically my bedroom. So it's quite bland. I don't know what else to do with it, but I quite like it. It has everything I need in it. So do I really need to add more? Who knows? But perhaps maybe pictures up here or pictures this side or a mirror. I really don't know, but something needs to change in here a little bit because the walls are very plain. So let's get to the last room, the bathroom. Here it is. So the flooring's different in here because I had to go for vinyl, not laminate. But I tried to keep the same sort of colour. So here's the bathroom quickly before I show you it in detail. So this came with a property, it's just a heated towel rack. I have a Matalan towel here, I love the pale pink colour. Toilet roll stand. <laughs> One towel folded up with a little Matalan basket and Matalan rolled up little face towels because I think that looks quite spa-like and pretty. On top of my loo, I have a little Ikea, um, you know, what is it called? Candle <laughs> in a jar. A Boo Avenue spray and some crystal gems which I put in a little Ikea jar because I think it looks pretty and cute. On my sink, I have soap dispenser from Next, the same thing, and then a little Hotel Chocolat body cream <laughs> on here i love this i love the little chrome edge it's quite nice this is from matalan this is from matalan the home scents ikea so i love the fact that all of these have the little bobbly bits at the top does that make sense i just love them little jars i think they're sweet here is my bath so i just have a bath slash shower 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 combo so here i have which needs straightening up some Ikea jar things, what are they called? Candle holders with candles in. This is from B&M again. These are from Primark, a pound each. The range, seven pounds. My bath mats, can't remember where that's from, I apologize. And then I have a little caddy thing here with all my products in. One product is down there because it doesn't fit. That gives me stress because I like everything away. I'm not a massive fan of all this on display, so I need to think of what I'm gonna do in here. Um, I maybe want some sort of storage system. I just don't really like how this looks, but for now it, it works, but it's not my end goal, if you like, for this place. 
Here is my little marble bin, which is from the and M. It was five pounds. I don't like how massive the bag is around it, so I need to sort that out ASAP. And I just have a little shell down here, which my mum gave me. It's pale pink, and it just adds something into the room. And then I have a little marble toilet cleanser as well. And what else do I have in here? I have a mirror here, which is from B and M. I love this mirror so much. I love the texture of it, like the shape and everything. It's so pretty. So that's everything. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. <laughs> I don't know if this video was like a little bit rushed. I felt like I was rushing around, like trying to get everything out because there's so many different things I've bought and I was trying to tell you where I got everything from. I hope that it didn't come across like rushed. But anyway, um, I'll always do another video on this probably in a few months time. Yeah, I reckon in a few months time I'll do the next video, like an updated version, once things are a little more in order. Um, but until then, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and please do subscribe down below and continue showing your support because I love it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.